at 6.30. The Vegas Golden Knights still on the road. They play in Carolina tomorrow evening. Yes, but that does not mean there will not be hockey right here in Las Vegas this weekend. Ron Futrell is here in studio. He's stretched out. He's ready. He's got striking gold. <laughs> here we go, Brian and Kirsten. Junior hockey is the lifeblood of the sport. Virtually every player in the NHL passed through junior hockey. We got a team here in Vegas, and it's a pretty good one. By Webster, it's a foot race. He's got a bit of a chance, possibly, and in front he's got Soterio. Webster, to Soterio, scores! Is your dream to play in the NHL oh, yeah. someday? Yes, sir. You think that's a possibility? Absolutely. Oh, of course. The Golden Knights look up to us. <laughs> they look up to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Thunderbird hockey, junior hockey. Basically, players 16 to 21 years old who want a shot at a college scholarship or perhaps the pros. Coach has already got me looking at some options for next year uh, in the pro level because I'm looking at pro instead of college. Maybe some kind of college level, you know, go uh, go to school somewhere. That would be uh, the next uh, goal of mine. And I would say there's probably, I'm going to say about 70% of them will have an opportunity to play college hockey. Now you've got to try out. You've got to compete to get a shot on a junior team. Then you have to pay to play. Ice time ain't cheap. That's an interesting concept because I've never dealt with it before and I never had to do it when I was a player, but uh, the way it's going today, it's, it's, it's normal. So, uh, um, but I, but I, you know, we all struggle with it a bit, but that's just the way it is. Growing up here, hockey wasn't too big down in Vegas. Growing up as a kid, so I had to move around. I went to Cali for a couple years, so it was nice to come home and uh, play on here for juniors down here and it's all going really well. And the T-Birds are an international affair. Yes, some are from Vegas, but they come here from all over the world. Yeah, we have a kid from Kazakhstan. We have a kid from uh, Russia, from Moscow. Uh, a couple Swedes, uh, Canadians, obviously. That's a, that's a no-brainer. It's very fast. It's very entertaining. It's, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun to watch. It is indeed. The Thunderbirds have a couple of games this weekend, Friday and Saturday at Sobe Arena at the Fiesta Casino on Rancho. Go out there, check him out. Oh, by, by the way, when you go out there, say hi to John Langler. He does play-by-play -play for the T-Birds. Coach says he's pretty good at it. He looks good, too. He's the co the co this is what the coach told me. We've yeah. seen him on Good Day Las Vegas, mm -hmm. John in the mornings, if you wake up that early. Yeah, so. Well, here's why he, I'm sure John's good, and also he's a hockey guy. Correct. He, he plays is. hockey, yes. and I've, I've been yes. told he's actually a good hockey player, lending himself to be a good hockey broadcaster. Right. Yes, but he still has to go against Carlos here. So right, now Carlos, I think no, Carlos, one of our floor, floor crew gentlemen. My very theory good. is John Langler and Carlos are the two best hockey players at Channel Eight. Well, I would not. I would not contest they've, that. They've told me it's time to move on to the team. I think this is correct. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs>